Social media has given a different way that voices in Pacific communities can be heard. With issues such as human rights in West Papua, sites like Facebook, Twitter and alternative media have made their strong topics public. Secretary of the Asia-Pacific Human Rights Coalition, Dalab City, says social media is a key tool. I, I'm very pleased that it is happening because West Papua is uh, now a very big issue all over the world and every day when I check my um, Facebook, I could see uh, postings from Mexico, from Spain, from um, Portugal or from here in New Zealand, lots of them, uh, even in America, uh, they're, they're everywhere. And that's really very good because of the social media. And that's what we should be using the social media for. A seminar held by the coalition at AUT University raised concerns about the Pacific region in getting younger people to get involved. Yes, there's a lot more work to be done. And I feel that uh, young generation has a responsibility as well to uh, educate themselves first of all, uh, but also to spread that there are issues here that we need to discuss about because it is also affecting their generation and also the next generation to come. Executive Director of Greenpeace New Zealand, Bunny McDermott, says New Zealand and the Pacific are strongly connected. There's a really strong connection, I think, between New Zealand and the Pacific because there's a lot of people from the Pacific who live here and a lot of people who have family in the Pacific as well. So we're culturally and emotionally and and all financially very connected to the Pacific. And the New Zealand government should be doing more. Um, we are part of the Pacific, so we need to do all that we can, whether it's supporting you know, different kind of fishing arrangements so that it's fair and just, the kind of agreements that are made, that we have really strong climate change policy for ourselves in New Zealand, which signals to the Pacific that we care about what's happening globally in terms of climate change. So there's a lot of, there's a long way to go still. Part of this problem is the mainstream media's responsibility. The mainstream media is not doing their job well. They only talk about some issues when there is a conflict or when there is a disaster like the one that uh, is recently um, stormed in Vanuatu. They talk about that. I feel very disgusted about what they, they are not doing. I think the media's responsibility is huge and I think we have a lack of independent thinking in media often and I think that's simply because the business has got very monopolised and sensationalised so sometimes the real true stories about what's happening in people's lives are not big enough or important enough to make the front page. But social media is becoming a new way in which people take action. The kind of connection between offline and online and that kind of relationship between the two of them is dramatically changing the way in which we make change in this world. And I think that's fantastic. You don't need to rely on the traditional media to find out what's going on anymore. We don't want to forget the issues. The issues then are still the issues now, and we have to raise them until these issues are addressed. And Ab City says action is the key. I do salute the young people who are engaging the issues, and I wish that there are a lot more, and I hope that they would be um, enticing the other young people, their friends, their whanau, and uh, everybody. They need to be engaged because that's an active way of doing things. The more you get engaged, the more you feel that this is your issue. They own it, and so they will act on it.